Hey guys, what is up, and I welcome you to a new episode of the Digino series. This episode will be featuring Victor. And if you do end up enjoying this episode, please don't forget to throw in a like. But without much further ado, let us go straight into his abilities. Victor seems to be the only champion whose passive gives him an item which must take up an inventory slot without having a choice. And the hex core cannot be sold back to the store, meaning once you upgrade it, it cannot be changed. So choose wisely. The shield on Victor's Q is delayed rather than being instant, and if the target dies while it is in flight, it will still give Victor a shield on the return. Victor's W applies a stack every half a second and stuns at the third stack, but you are able to cleanse the stacks before it reaches the stun or the stun itself would QSS and even cleanse. Gravity Field Victor's W will persist through death which can be a very important thing to remember as some certain skills will completely disappear as the champion dies. A cool thing about Victor's laser is that it can reveal targets in its path, and this even includes targets that are hidden such as within a brush. This ability also has zero cast time, meaning it can be used while moving or using other spells. Victor's Q, W, and E can all be blocked by Spell Shield, but his ultimate will only be blocked for one instance of damage, which can either be the initial burst damage that it applies as you activate it, or the periodic damage it deals while the cloud is active. Much like Victor's W, his ultimate's cloud will still persist after death. The only drawback is the fact that the cloud will now not auto-follow the nearest champion as it usually does when Victor is alive. Alright guys, let us go into some cool facts and lore about Victor. Victor's designer was someone named Hephaestophilus, who also made Talon and helped with the making of Jace. His voiceover artist is someone named Owen Thomas, who is the same person that did the voiceover for Twisted Fate. Within the Mac launch video, you can actually see Victor's robotic hand. Did you know that within the year 2011, Victor was the last champion released? Victor's raw changes color based on which upgrade you buy, since they all have different color codes. Victor shares some similarities with the Deuce X series, where transhumanism and human enhancement technology plays a big role. Some other similarities that he shares is with Doctor Doom for Marvel and the Tech Priest for Warhammer 40k. Victor's dance refers to the Melbourne Shuffle, which originated in Australia. Apparently, Riot members tend to refer to Victor as Hexmage. Let's go into his lore. Victor had a passion for invention and science for a long time, and even attended a prestigious college in Zon. He led a team which constructed Blitzcrank, though someone named Professor Stanwyck stole the credit for it, and then even used Victor's research to revive Ergot. Victor became depressed, dropped out of college, and locked himself in his private lab to create a project that no one can steal. He planned to improve his own body. After re-emerging, there was little trace of the original man, as he now was a cyborg. He called this the Glorious Evolution. To him, the future involved Hextech augmentations to the human body to surpass its limitations. He later joined the League to test his inventions against the best and to find any weaknesses. From this, his lore seems somewhat relatable to Nikola Tesla, due to the fact that in Victor's lore, Professor Stanwyck stole Victor's creation of Blitz and Sword of Ergot, and on the flip side, Thomas Edison stole much of Tesla's work. Victor and Jace both share a quote. Pave the way. Pave the way. The skin full machine Victor shows him in his final goal to make himself fully robotic. This skin seems somewhat similar to Cyberman from Doctor Who and to the Doctor from G.I. Joe Rise of the Cobra in terms of their goals. Creator Victor shows him as the maker of all the battle cast skins, such as Cho'Gath and Ergot for his group called The Evolution. This artwork also showed battle cast Vel'Koz before he was released, on top of also hinting at what looks to be battle cast Skarner at the bottom and Kog'Maw somewhat in the middle. Victor is of course friends with his invention Blitzcrank and the creature his research resurrected, Ergot. But his rivals include Jace, who is a charismatic inventor from Piltover, which Victor sees as an obstacle to his glorious evolution. 
As a small FYI, the two, Jace and Victor, had a battle where Victor won once, stole a crystal from Jace, which caused Jace to make his Mercury Hammer that he uses currently in the Summoner's Rift. From this he then assaulted Victor's lap as a retaliation attempt and he ended up destroying the crystal that Victor stole from Jace. His other rival is Orianna, though there is so far no reasoning as of why. Probably something to do with the fact that she used to be human but turned into a robot. Alright guys, that unfortunately does mark the end of this episode of Did You Know featuring Victor. If you did enjoy this episode, please don't forget to throw in a like and also share it with your friends. You can also write down underneath this video who you would like to see in the next episode or if you have any interesting theories that I should go over. I'd also appreciate it if you guys can follow me on my Facebook and Twitter fan page, both Red Mercy LOL. But with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I hope to see you next time. Peace! You